In God's holy word, he has given us an outline what the qualifications of a deacon is. 1 Timothy chapter 3, verse 8. Likewise must the deacon be grave, not double-tongued, not given to too much wine, Amen. not greedy for filthy lucre, Amen. holding the <laughs> mysteries of the faith in a pure conscience. Amen. And at least these also first be proved. Mm -hmm. Then let him or them use the office of a deacon, mm -hmm. being found blameless. Amen. Deacons are a servant of the church Amen. and its members, mm -hmm. not rulers. Amen. They are to be loving servants mm -hmm. and leaders. Amen. Amen. They primarily serve the Lord Jesus Christ by conducting the caring, the ministry of the church, mm -hmm. doing benevolence work in the ministry, distributing the church's aid to the poor. However, deacons also visit the sick and to be alert to the spiritual needs of the congregation while exercising wisdom Deacons are to promote unity within the church and facilitate the spread of the gospel. Mm -hmm. The deacons would have been chosen as a church and ordained today are not perfect. Amen. But neither are you. Amen. 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 Congregation. Today we celebrate God's grip of gift of leadership for his people. We joyfully thank him for Deacon L.B. Wright. Amen. 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 Yes. Who has served well here at He Changed My Mind Ministry. Amen. Amen. We see the love of Christ for his people as the Lord of the church. He appoints leaders, and by his spirit, he equips them. Amen. So that believers may grow in faith, develop disciplined Christian living, serve others in selfless love, and share with all the good news of salvation. Amen. Mm -hmm. He taught us in the spirit of true leadership when he said, whosoever wants to become great among you, you must be your servant. Mm -hmm. And whosoever wants to be first among you, you must be your slave. Amen. Just as the son of man did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. Mm -hmm. Amen. Deacon L.B. Wright. Stand. Yes, mm -hmm. To express your acceptance of this office, you are asked to stand here in the presence of God and his church and to answer the following question. Do you believe that in the, this call of the congregation, God himself is calling you to this holy office? Yes. Do you believe that the Old and New Testament are the word of God, the only infallible rule of faith and life? Yes. Do you promise to do the work of, of a deacon faithfully? in the way worthy of your calling and in submission to the government and discipline of this church? Yes, with the help of the good Lord. If you help me, I will. I do. Amen. Amen. Let's pray. God, our Heavenly Father, who has called you to the sacred office guide you by his word equips you with his spirit and so prosper you in your ministry that the church may increase and in the name be praised yes. amen. 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 amen i charge you deacon lb Wright, to guide yourself and all the flock which the holy spirit has made you overseer be shepherd of the church of God, which he brought with his own blood. Be a friend and Christ-like example to children. 
give clear and cheerful guidance to young people by word and example. Bear up God's people in their pain and weakness and celebrate the joy with them. Hold the truth of all sensitive matters confided to you. Encourage the age to perseverance in God's promise. Be wise, counselor, who support and strengthen the pastor. Be compassionate, yet firm, and consist in rebuke and discipline. Know the scriptures, which are useful for teaching and rebuking, correcting and teaching in righteousness. 2 Timothy 3 and 16. Pray continually <coughs> for the church. Remember at all times that if you would truly give spiritual leadership in the household of faith, you must complete mastered by the Lord. I charge you, Deacon L.B. Wright, to inspire faithful stewardship in this congregation. Remind us that from everyone who has been given much, much will be demanded. Amen. Teach us to be merciful. Promote us to seize new opportunities to worship God with offering of wealth, time, and ability. Realizing that benevolence is a quality of life in Christ and not merely a matter of financial assistance. Mm -hmm. Therefore, minister to the rich and poor alike, <clears throat> both with and outside the church. Weigh the needs of the cause and use the church resources discreditably. Be compassionate to the needy. Respect the needs. Hold in truth all sensitive matters confided to you. Encourage them with words that create hope in their hearts and with deeds that bring joy to their lives. Mm -hmm. be, a, be above reproach live as an example of Christ Jesus and the interest to others. To the congregation, I charge you people of God to receive Deacon L.B. Wright as Christ's gift to the church. Recognize in him the Lord's provision for healthy congregational life. Holding him in honor, take his counselor seriously. Respond to him with obedience and respect. Yeah. Amen. Accept his help with thanks. Sustain him in prayer and encourage him with your support. Amen. Especially when he feels the burden of this office, acknowledge him as the Lord's servant among you. Amen. Do you, congregation, pledge to receive Deacon L.B. Wright as you have been charged? Amen. 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 Even the phone call does. Let us pray. Our merciful Father in heaven, we thank you that you have provided faithful and gifted people to serve as leaders, as Deacon L.B. Wright. Assume his responsibility, fill him with your spirit, endow him with your wisdom, and grant him strength. Make him a faithful worker for your vineyard. Under your guidance, may your church grow in every spiritual and faith which is open and unashamed, and in the committed service that promotes your reign in the world. Help him to perform his duties with enthusiasm and humility. In his work, grant him the sense of sustained awe, which is rooted in daily adoration to you, his Lord. Through him, may your name be honored and your church be served. Help us, your people, to accept him gladly and encourage him, always respect him, for the sake of your precious Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, Amen. we pray. Amen. 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 Amen.
I present to you our very own Deacon L. B. Wright of He Changed My Mind. Deacon Wright, congregation and family. Family Deacon L. B. Wright. Amen. At this time, we're going to ask the deacons and the brothers to give Deacon Wright the right hand of fellowship at this time. Amen. 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 Change me, I don't even know it. Me and my son both had a talk to Taylor about the cigarettes. We started, but I, he started working on me long time before then. Amen. I really didn't know it because he does things sometimes you don't really know. Me and him, we started with cigarettes. It's the most $65 cigarettes we bought. He and I, we talking about the house. Man, we got to do better than this. That's what we say. Amen. But God took them away from both of us. Amen. We, we don't know. I know I don't. But he did a lot, I don't know. But he changed me. Yeah. Okay? Amen. I'm a trained person. I ain't trying to prove it. Amen. But God, I need God to help me. Yeah. Amen. 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 So y'all pray for me. Amen. 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 I need your prayer. Amen. Thank you. Amen. 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 So my nephews in here that I work, they've been with me all day life. Mm -hmm. And my sister right here, tell them, tell them, this is my sister. Look at that hat. Let me tell y'all about her. Uh -oh. That lady right here. <laughs> oh, God. She never robbed me at all. Why y'all hanging out? That's my daughter right there, Robert. <laughs> and that's my main dad, Austin. He been up there. I raised him up too. Okay. All right, now this lady right here. She been with me through thick and thin. Amen. I've been with her 80 years. <laughs> <laughs> Look, she can talk or she ain't.